Hi, I'm Mitch. Uh, I had a motorbike accident when I was 21 uh, in 2008. Um, I lost my left leg above my knee and damaged my right arm. Um, I was, had a, a suction prosthetic leg for over two years um, and I, I struggled a fair bit with the whole, that whole system. Uh, I suffered a lot from the heat. It was uncomfortable, the fact that you have a carbon fibre cask on you and when you go to sit down, uh, whether it's a chair or b being young uh, and going to the bars, uh, the bar stools are normally, you know, yay high and you can't really sit on them because they slide out from under you. Um, things like sitting on toilet seats, you break toilet seats. Um, that there's so many things that, you know, you struggle with that you just don't think of. Um, not only that, the, the fact that it was, it wasn't the best way to walk around, it was pretty unsafe. Um, you know, there was, every time I'd sit down or, or it would be a hot day, um, my stump would shrink or s swell up and that, that therefore the suction prosthetic would, would fall off. So that, that side of it was quite frustrating for me. Um, then I was fortunate enough um, to meet a guy called Mun, Dr. Mundur Almadiris um, and my mum works in the hospital industry and she introduced me to him and there was this new operation, the osteointegration, um, that, that she heard about. And she was trying to convince me to have this operation and, and I'd had, just had 26 operations in like 18 months. The last thing I wanted to do was have another operation. And I ignored her for months. Um, I said, no, no, I won't go and see him. I don't want, to, don't want, to, don't want anything to do with it. Uh, I just started my own business, so I didn't want to go back into hospital. Uh, anyway, just for the fact to keep mum quiet, I went and we met with Munjid and his team. And um, when we were up there, actually, there was the, the first guy who had ever had it done in Australia, he was up there with Channel 9, they were filming him. And um, as soon as I saw him, I didn't even speak to him, as soon as I saw the way he was moving around and walking, uh, I knew that this was something I definitely wanted to have. I had it done uh, two years ago now. And um, when I had my, my first stage, I went into hospital, uh, they put the implant in you, then you, you go home. A couple of weeks later, you come back, um, you get the implant, you drills out, get the second stage put in, which is where the pin comes out, where the leg connects to. I was surprised how easy it was to walk. Uh, I, I, I'd only, at this stage, I'd only had lost my leg two, two years ago, so maybe I felt, I felt more natural, uh, as if I had a leg back again, because obviously biomechanically it's a lot better and, and it's, it's coming straight out. So for me, I was pretty much clicked it on and I was off walking. Um, I, I disobeyed Munjit a bit, I didn't have my crutches for too long, um, but yeah, it was fantastic. My, all my problems pretty much went away immediately. Uh, the heat problems, no more heat problems, no more problems with obviously sitting down. Um, as you know, it's stuck on you, so you can't, it doesn't, can't fall off. Uh, every time I get up, it's, it's there, it's in the same spot. So, well, as, as I mentioned, Munjid, uh, my mum knew him, and she referred me up to Munjid. And I didn't know too much about him at, at the beginning, because like I said, I wasn't really interested in getting the whole thing done, and thank God I did. Um, and I started to do a bit of research about him uh, after the accident because everyone was telling me about his story. And Munjid is he's not just a surgeon. Um, he's, he's the, and I, like I said, I've had over 28 operations, majority of them by the, uh, similar surgeons, but I've had over eight or nine surgeons and I've never met anybody quite so like Munjid. Uh, you can call him any time of the day or night, text him, send a photo if you're worried about something, if, if something's not looking right, you can send him a photo and he will respond to you, you know, guaranteed within half an hour. Uh, whether he's in another part of the world or in Sydney, um, I've, I've been to his house and where I've had a problem and he's fixed it there at his house. Um, it's not, he's not a normal surgeon. Uh, oh, another thing that surprised me about Munjit is when, when I was in hospital um, and it was about 12.30, 1 o'clock at night, and all of a sudden I hear this knock at the door and it's Munjid and, and his nurse Belinda and they were doing their rounds and I was like, what are you doing this time of the night? And he's like, oh, I just finished operating. So he, he came from another hospital in Sydney to the hospital I was at just to check and make sure I was okay. And you know, that for me, that was like, wow. You know, he just, the guy doesn't stop working.